Okay, so this might be a little bit of a controversial issue, but I think washi tape is the best way to seal pages of your journal together. I'm telling you, this is better than any kind of glue stick, any kind of tape, and especially any type of liquid glue. And I am going to prove it to you today. So I'm gonna buy as many different types of glue that I can find and prove this point. I'm going to even try spray adhesive to prove this point. I already have glue sticks at home. I have some liquid glue at home as well. I have the dot glue runners. I even have double-sided scotch tape. What would be even better than just like the original school glue from Elmer's would be if they had like the Elmer's paste. Like how fun would that be? I'm gonna see. I don't know if that's a thing that they make anymore, but man, do I wish they did. And we're gonna have to try out with the Mod Podge, but we need like the most basic water-based glue sealer and finish. Perfect. Okay, Nate, I got two questions for you. Uh -huh. um, can you help me? Can you no. hold something, please? No. I'm gonna drop all of it. Please. Okay, hang on. Let me get my sleeves rolled up. Tie my shoe. No, don't you dare. Okay, another question. Second question while you're holding that. Do you think that they still make Elmer's paste? Like the kind you eat? You, you weren't supposed to eat it, but... Oh. <laughs> does it say do not eat on it? Probably does now, but do you think that they make that paste still? What do you mean paste? But do you remember how it came in a jar and it had like that little, it looked oh, like, like a brown jar? It had like a little stick that was inside of it and you could kind of brush it onto the pages. Oh, they absolutely still make that, yeah. Can you help me find it? I mean, no, they don't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Not around anymore. It's not around all of a sudden, yeah. but it was a minute ago and now it doesn't exist. Yeah, it's, just, Interesting. it's a Circuit City situation. Circuit oh, really? City. So I found like where the glue is, okay. but I didn't see any of the paste. So I don't know if I am just like completely blind or okay, well, if you know of where to look to find this paste. But like it, it would come in like the this size of a jar. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about now. Okay. It could be like sold out. Is it rubber cement? <clears throat> I don't think so. Because like here's, here's Elmer's glue rubber cement and then there's wood glue. Like it looks like this is all the like other Elmer stuff, like Elmer oh, spray paint. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I bet they're I bet they're actually sold out. Okay, of it. so we should probably go to another Michaels, or maybe like another. Maybe we'll probably just craft store. like a Target. Okay, we can yeah. do that. Well, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Find a Target. Cool, cool. So we totally forgot to check for the paste when we were at Target. I blame you for the record. No, I will not take the blame for this. Well, one. I wasn't supposed we're to remember at it. We're at Meyer, <laughs> so we're gonna see if Meyer has the paste. And it's not looking so great. What's this? Magical liquid. And to add to Elmer's glue to make slime. Wonderful. Could you make slime and then the slime could be act as the glue? Now, how about we not do that? Um, oh, look at this one. I did see that. Cosmic, Cosmic shimmer. shimmer. That is gonna bleed through those pages. But it might make the page like look all funky you're, and cool, right? You're trying to ruin the pages is what you're doing. No, no, no. no. Maybe that stuff doesn't exist. I'm starting to think they stopped making it now. Because man, that was definitely something that I used when I was younger. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. What's that? That's it, rubber right? Rubber cement. It's rubber cement. That's what it is. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Acid-free, photo-safe, easy brush applicator. All right, gimme, gimme. And make sure it's not leaking anywhere. All right, I think Appreciate you're good. That. Am I good? What, does that one, that one's kind of, it doesn't matter. Just hand me one. Give okay, me the first that. one. The first one that My we went goodness. with. Go with. Go with that one. You made right? this way more complicated. No, you made it more complicated. No, it's always you. No. You should have known. Can't take you anywhere. Rubber cement. Okay, so after that fun, quick trip to the store, I do want to say that um, this is definitely like a re-recording from earlier because I recorded a 35-minute video clip and turns out I only recorded it on my phone, not on the face cam, so here we go again. Something to expect from uh, brand new content creators, I guess, is what I've been told. Doesn't feel good though. If you are new, you probably do not want to spend more on a brand new journal just because you're having trouble with a little bit of bleed through. So one of the options that you've got, thankfully, is to glue pages together. But then you have to figure out, okay, what kind of glue is going to be good for what you are wanting to do. So I have two of my journals that I found out too late. The pages were 
too thin. So I have this Aries journal that I got on Amazon and this Carstone paper journal that I actually got at Michael's. If memory serves, the Aries one is 90 GSM, which is grams per square meter. That's the thickness of the paper. The Karst is 140. So I really thought this was gonna be a good one, but it truly does not compare to the 160 GSM that I also bought on Amazon. So if you are new to journaling and you're not quite familiar with what bleeding or ghosting is on paper, I will show you. So as you can see on the back of this page, you can see everything that I wrote on the previous page. All the different shades, all of the different colors of the markers I was testing out. You can see it perfectly. And if you can see them this well on a 140 GSM, you can only imagine how well you're gonna see them through a page that is thinner than the 140. So it really was the end of September because I did use this as a bullet journal for August and September. But when I got to the new page for September, I could see literally everything I had written on the previous page. Make it a September to remember. Well, yep, I did because I could see it clearly. The rain is gone. So, I mean, even on the next page, I can see everything. All of the layouts that I was trying to create for no my November themes. I mean, everything was just coming straight through these pages. So I did a little work and I'm gonna show you guys in both of these journals, the different types of glue, washi tape, adhesive, whatever you wanna use to try to put these pages together and see if that will help you maybe at least get through this journal so it's not a waste and also give you some really good pages. So really fast, I'm gonna go through all of the items I got to test this out. I actually grabbed some Mod Podge. I have your general washable glue stick, you know, purple to clear, everybody loves that. I have the glue pen. Also have the extra strength double-sided tape, tape glue runners. So it's not like scotch tape, it's like glue form of tape. I don't know, hard to explain. I have washi tape. I grabbed a bunch of different colors because I think if you do multiple pages, if you wanted to do like a rainbow theme along the sides of your journal, how cool would that look? I grabbed some rubber cement and some spray adhesive. We're gonna see how these work. I'm a little worried about what it's gonna do to the pages. So I think I'm gonna start off with all of like the glues first because those are probably gonna need the longest to dry. And on each page, I'm going to write what it is that that page is. So we're starting off with the Karst 140 GSM bullet journal, Bujo bullet journal, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm just gonna say, all right, first one we're gonna do is going to be the glue pen. So, okay, so we're gonna take the glue pen and we're just, like I said, we're just gluing the pages together, but we wanna make sure that the pages are gonna lay flat and they're not gonna cause issues. So we're gonna start, as we do with many things, we're gonna start at the top and we're just going to glue along the edges because we don't want the pages to come apart and confuse you. And then we'll do a little bit through the center just for that extra and we will flatten it down. I think my, uh, yep, my ring is causing little marks on the paper. Well, I was not expecting that, but that's okay. First page is done. First page tried to become three pages. Pop that to that side, hold on. I think I have, I've got like a little, there we go. Okay, there's one. After that first page, I say we do the Mod Podge. I think that'll be a good um, second option. So we'll take this, you can see this is brand new. I got this just for you guys, um, but I do not have any brushes. So I grabbed some paper towels because guess what? We're getting messy. So we're just going to put the Mod Podge on the paper and I'm just going to smear it. This is not for the faint of heart. I did this wrong, hold on. I'm gonna have to take this entire page out because I, need, I needed to go another page because if not, I'm just gonna glue this straight to Oh goodness. All right. Well, this is coming out. Whee! If you are ever wondering how difficult this is, it can be very difficult when you don't pay attention. I am one that doesn't pay attention very much, so this is not surprising that I messed up like this. What I should have done is gone an extra page and glued this side. So, now that we have learned our lesson, now we will hoo -hoo -hoo, Now we will write Mod Podge on this one. Look at that. <laughs> Love it so much. All right. We've got the Mod Podge. We will add it with the same amount of flair as we did the first time before my huge mistake. All right, so we're just going to smear this from each side to each side. I assume that this will dry pretty quickly because we're like definitely making this very flat and thin. So, all right, rip off the hands, get all the Mod Podge off my fingers. And now we will flatten the pages. 
I knew this was gonna happen. Like the Mod Podge is oozing out of the edges. Our favorite towels because we're, oh, overdoing it. Sorry, didn't mean to hit the, the phone stand. Okay, do we just have two pages or am I like, yeah, we're three pages in now. Again, everybody's trying to get three pages. All right, so we're just gonna kind of flatten it. And if any extra Mod Podge is gonna come out the edges, we're just gonna kind of scoop that out. Cause we don't need that much because I don't want any of the pages sticking together and I wanna know where they end. I'm just gonna add some paper clips on the pages just to hold them where they need to be held. All right, so now we will go on to our washable glue stick. I think this one will be fun. So once again, we will add what it is. So the glue stick go to the next page make sure the pages aren't sticking together and just like with all the others we're going to start at the top go along the edges to the best of your ability like this does not have to be perfection but just as well as you can add the glue all over and then flatten it down and then we will take another one of our paper clips and try to just get the two pages and not three paper clip that one all right, we're doing, not doing too bad, not doing too bad. Now we will move on to, oh, this will be interesting, the rubber cement. I hope this has like a brush in it or something so I don't have to get this all over my hands. It has a brush, thank goodness, okay. Oh, that is a strong smell. Yeah, this one definitely opened some windows. Whew, that is a strong one. So we're doing rubber cement now. I mean, the thing is there are so many different ways that you can glue stuff. Did you realize that there were this many options? I did not think that there were this many options. To me, this is like overboard, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. So we're adding the rubber cement all along the page. I'm getting better about like jumping between pages, I've noticed. All right, I wanna make this very thin. I don't want any bumps, ridges, anything like that, because I feel like when the pages dry together, that's gonna be like the entire texture of that whole page. All right, so flatten down the rubber cement, grab the two pages and paperclip. Boom. I am going to now try the extra strength scotch tape. I'm gonna do the air spray one, the aerosol one, very last because this I cannot do in my house. We're gonna be jumping through some steps. So we're gonna do the scotch tape extra strength. Does your brain ever run so fast that things just like smush together? Because that is absolutely what just happened. All right, next page. And then we're just gonna go straight across to the edge, but not over the edge because that'll just cause so many problems. As close to the edge as you can get with the tape. I always go for the inside and then just a couple times straight across. Flip this page back, flatten that, and now our scotch tape one is done. Once again, we're gonna stick those together and then we'll move on to the glue runner. I made the mistake of going over the edge, so that's, that's on me. All right. Glue runner is done. It doesn't take long to like really do this stuff. Like you just really have to commit to it. And you gotta figure out which one's gonna work so you don't get that bleed through because now you can't see what has been written on the other page. All right, now we will go on to the washi tape, which I really do think will be your favorite way to do this because for me, this one just, it adds so much to the pages. We're gonna add the washi tape. And it's really easy to do. It's gonna be, it's gonna take time and patience, but you know what? When you're a crafter, you've got it. And this is gonna be a really nice way for you to spend a little bit of your time. Don't think that you have to go through and you have to tape all these pages together before you can do anything in the notebook. Just as many pages as you need for whatever you're doing. We're gonna start at the corner. I try to go to the first line of dots. If you're doing this on like a regular notebook, just like a little bit, maybe half an inch in. And then we're gonna take our two pages and we're gonna fold the washi tape. Try to keep it straight and even because then you start getting the bubbles if it doesn't work out, but that's okay. We're not going for perfection. We're just proving a point to the dots. We know we've already got the second page. Once again, we're just gonna fold it. Fold it right over. You don't wanna to get too thin of washi tape for this process, but you don't want too thick of washi tape. When the washi tape is too thick, you're really gonna lose a good portion of your next page. Last section, start it from the inside. Nice thing is we can go back through here and just like cut off the areas that we don't want. Like this, I don't want this. Boom, done, stick that there. This one, boom, 
done. Once you do it a couple times, like you'll learn a method that works. Sometimes you can kind of scratch out the bubbles, but there's the washi tape one. Now, when you close it, you definitely know which one is the washi tape. So it, it tells you exactly where it's at. I don't even need to like use paper clips to hold that together. It's held together. All right, before I do the aerosol one, I'm gonna actually test out all of those previous methods using this one. Okay, so we've tested out all of the glue that we can, take everything to the garage, spray it down, glue it together, and I'll be back. Okay, so we moved everything in the garage. I actually had to move my car outside of the garage so the door is open and I am freezing, but I went ahead and added the light duty adhesive to both of the books. I'm just gonna spray the page and we're gonna go back inside. And now we'll see how the adhesive spray works. Welcome to the chaos. So I did go out, I did have to, like I said, move my car out of the garage to spray this. It did not spray, like it sprayed really nice. I will give it that. This was like a really smooth application, which I appreciated. So now we've given everything a little bit of time. So let's kind of go through, starting back with our original, the Karst 140. Let's go back to the very beginning and you guys hopefully can see what the different options and the ways to use these options are gonna. Okay, so the glue pen looks pretty nice. Is it completely dry? Probably not at the moment, but so far it's looking pretty good. Now we're going to test. I'm just gonna add a little, look at that. You can't even see it on the second page. Is a glue pen something that will work? Possibly. The Mod Podge, how did that turn out? I mean, it's smooth, it's not like super crumply, but you can definitely see where the pages aren't gonna lay flat anymore. So Mod Podge, not gonna be one of my favorites, but we'll try again. You can't see it, doing good so far. The glue stick, clearly not dry yet. I can see the purple straight through it, but do you see like it is plumping up? Like those shadows are where it's like pulling up. It's all bubbly. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, I'm gonna say glue stick is not gonna be a way to go. Rubber cement. Also, super bubbly. This is not laying flat at all. It's like so creased. I don't know if you can see it better over here, but I mean, look at that. That is just a horrendous crease from both of these. I don't like that. So rubber cement and glue stick, no go. Don't put that in your journal. All right, the scotch tape extra strength. Guess what? It also has a crease. Not great. Absolutely not great. I mean, look at that. That, that's not gonna work well in your journals if you're trying to keep these journals going to see stuff like this. Oh, I'd be out of it too. All right, the glue runner. That one is really nice. The glue runner is holding well. It's not creasing like the, the tape or like the glue stick and the cement and then the washi tape. I mean, come on, it's the washi tape. Not only do you get a really cute decoration along the edges, style it however you want. You'll, you'll figure out a way to keep this straight and crisp. I didn't take the time. That's why we're a little wacky. And then the light duty adhesive, it like, boom. It's like you have a thicker page of paper. Look at that, that's so nice. So even that works, but you do have to be very cautious that you're not sticking all of your pages together. So that is the Karst one. Now we are on to my Aries. So we will start with our glue pen. Once again, I don't think we had this issue in the other one, but the glue pen is like horrendously creasy and just, man, that just, that I could not, I couldn't do it. So let's see what the Mod Podge does. So the Mod Podge, also has really bad creasing. Not good in this journal. The glue stick, not bad. That is pretty solid. We got a little bit of creasing towards the inside corner. It could be that I didn't lay the pages flat enough to begin with. That might be it. 
the rubber cement not bad which is weird so the rubber cement seems to be working just fine in this one but it didn't work in the other one i don't know if it's the, the type of paper or the amount of rubber cement i used i don't know washi tape like i said you still you have that gorgeous outside border now to hold your pages together that's a win-win for me and then the light duty adhesive once again that one just is a really good option if you have that type of patience which i will tell you i don't and i would probably end up gluing every single page together these are the options you have if you get a journal that you think is a very gorgeous journal like i think this one is a gorgeous journal but the pages are too thin your option is to glue some pages together. I know some people do this. I know other people, you know, just say like, mm, nope, not for me. I'm just gonna have to call that one as a loss. Try something different. Try, try these methods. Try one of these methods. I really hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will see you next time. Bye.